Hey YouTube, what's up guys? This is Charlie and what's going on? Today, what are we talking about? S9. Um, the S9 supposedly will be coming out or Samsung will be announcing the S9 um, supposedly on February 25th, which is in the next two or three weeks or so. Um, Pre-order should be should, should start going out on March the 1st. Um, from all reports, so March the 1st, pre-order will be going out. The price most likely is going to be around $999, $1,000. Um, shipment should be on March the 6th, on March 16th. But they said that on the S9, um, this is going to be a, a Samsung own kind of, they're going to put their take on the face ID. Um, it's going to be called intelligent scan and basically what it's going to do is to scan your face and your eye your iris and yeah, there's going to be infrared and all that kind of good stuff and and you should get the device to open pretty quick the fingerprint scanner i i am we don't think that the fingerprint scanner is going to be anywhere on the screen like like it said we don't think that Samsung is going to put the fingerprint scanner on the screen. Um, it's going to be at the back most likely, but they're going to bring it down below the camera. Um, if Samsung do do that, um, it's expected that from, even from the case manufacturers that have already been putting out um, S9 cases, it, and they're pretty much on par with, with what has been rumored out there. Um, the, the fingerprint scanner is going to be somewhere at the back there, guys. So that's pretty much gonna be so we're using the snapdragon 845 so that should make it pretty fast battery life on the s9 is gonna be pretty good they're gonna be a lot of um firmware updates and all that kind of good stuff um samsung is really getting better with their battery um battery life on the device i have very little complaints about my battery life on my note 8 um on the s on the s9 and we talk about it when we say when we say the s9 we mean the s9 and the s9 plus it should be between somewhere 3000 uh, milliamp um power batteries or 3500 million power batteries i think samsung is going to stay very close to that number we know on the on the on the s8 which i have a s8 on the s8 um battery life was up to 16 hours um, I got 16 hours plus and on the S9 we they expecting to get something like 20 hours plus. So that's 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 really good, a really good improvement if Samsung keep to that map. On the, the S9 should be recording at super ultra 4K HD videos on that. So you're gonna see pretty much pretty pretty good. Um probably who knows 60 frames per second and all that kind of good stuff. I mean again, I I don't know. If that's gonna make a difference for most people if you into specs then it's all good for you but I don't think the I don't think the s9 is gonna be foldable in any way I don't think Samsung is Samsung is gonna release probably release a foldable device um, on another type of device I don't know I, I've heard rumors of of the um, a note X or, or Samsung X phone or whatever it is but I don't think Samsung is gonna release it's gonna make that much of a big leap to put any kind of foldable device on their on the s8 or even on the note it's it's not gonna they're not gonna do it i think the s9 is gonna look almost identical to the s to the s8 in all ways and when i say s9 i mean s9 s9 plus and we're talking about the s8 s8 plus so i think all these devices are gonna look really identical um for you to see differences you really have to probably take a microscope to really see any differences in those devices but to think that the s8 and the s9 is going to look so much different i don't think it's going to be, it's going to be more like a software and and very little difference in the physical part of the device itself storage is going to stay the same from 64 um with me i always go with 64 device because i do keep um i do keep videos and pictures on my device which is what takes up most of the space i don't need to have anything close to 512 gigabytes of storage on my device i'm good at 64 i've always been good at 64 plus you have your sd card you can put on the side add more memory if you want to samsung i've always been good at that and i think samsung is going to keep um that drawer at the, at the top here where you can pull it out and put your memory in there so we're good with memory guys don't worry about that in at the bottom here just like all of our devices and the all all the samsung devices pretty much i think they're gonna keep 
the the headphone jack it's one of the things that people love about the devices um, even if I don't use it that much I I have kind of moved myself I've kind of moved myself into true true wireless devices to be honest I love I love this so I've gotten away from 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 wired devices even the Bluetooth devices that have wires on them I've kind of moved away from that and i um, kind of settled myself really good with um, with the true wireless devices and the and the prices on this are getting better and they are getting better so that's that's pretty much where I'm at right now with that so here's the thing about it guys the question is should you upgrade should you upgrade from the s8 s8 plus to a s9 s9 plus um, to be honest with you I just two weeks ago I just bought a s8 I could have waited for the s9 well I bought an s8 plus I could have waited for the s9 plus to come out in the next couple weeks but I decided you know what I could have already tell that the differences in the two devices was not gonna be that much um, to be honest with you the price is gonna be pretty much close to a thousand dollars for the s9 and the s9 s9 plus um, I'm gonna guess between 900 and and a thousand dollars depending on which one you get in my opinion if you into the if you into the note or if you want the s8 s8 plus you can get those things on Amazon for a good price right now and a lot of people and the price is gonna go down because a lot of people are gonna be selling the devices to get the S9 but I can almost guarantee you that the S9 is gonna look almost identical nobody will know the difference when you walk down the street um, the speed is almost gonna be the same um, the little bit of differences you're gonna have it's not worth paying a thousand dollars for the device that's my opinion but it's your money I'm just telling you how it is. This is Charlie. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.